Hi everyone, I'm Angelo. I've been homeless in Northern Virginia for two months now. And people keep asking me, why did I go homeless? Why did I move into my car? Why can't I stay with my parents? So I wanna answer that and talk about why should you move into your car if you're the kind of person who should. There's two aspects to why I moved into my car. One was just practical. It's very expensive to live around here in Northern Virginia. The average rent for an apartment in Arlington, Virginia, according to the county website, is $1,678 a month. I was renting a room for $760 a month, but it was just too expensive. Um, I was going broke. I was spending more money than I had. I was loading up my credit card, maxing it out several times, and I was worried I wouldn't be able to pay my bills towards the end of my stay in my room. And also, I just didn't care about the room. I realized, like, why am I paying all this money for this? So that was the practical side. But this other side is, why am I sinking money into just a part of the ground, basically, that I barely need, I barely use, um, I hate my roommates. My roommates weren't even bad, but I still hated them because they played music too loud and sang and were selfish and obnoxious, like to drink alcohol, act like everybody loves them and had over, uh, anyway, I won't go into all that, but I didn't like my roommates. Uh, I didn't want to pay a landlord. And I'm like, well, screw this. It, it's getting me nowhere. I'm better off. What I thought I'd be doing was living on people's couches because I thought there's no way I'll want to live in my car. That would be the worst. Well, I, it ended up being harder to get couches to sleep on than I thought, and one place I was sleeping at was terrible, so I ended up sleeping in my car. First three days were really depressing. I thought, man, I don't think I can do this. Once I slept well in my car, I'm like, okay, I get the hang of this. So I did it for not just I was hating my roommates, hating paying rent, and realizing I'm never going to get ahead if I'm paying rent uh, financially, or really probably in my film career too. But the other thing was I hate how selfish it is of people and of me to just pay money here even though it's incredibly expensive and even though people are struggling to pay their bills here and people uh, have pay very high rents and don't make much money and everybody else who can afford it, they're making it harder for those people because it drives everyone's rents up when there's more people here and there's a lot of people who moved to the DC area. And when there's a lot of people paying rent around here, and it's especially selfish for the people who can afford it. Great, somebody parking right next to me. But for the people who can afford it, but they choose to not move somewhere else where their money goes further. They're just like, no, I like like the extra waste and inertia and driving up everyone else's rents. And so I was a hypocrite for staying here because I kept thinking, well, I'll just get rich and be able to live here. Eventually I realized, no, that's not going to happen and uh, that may take a long time and it's not worth it because it's making other people's rents higher. So I want to be the example. I want to show, hey, I refuse to pay landlords because landlords are only around because housing is unaffordable. So we have to pay someone else's mortgage to be able to live and they have so much control over us and they can move in roommates we don't like. They can increase our rents. Jobs don't pay enough. And there's so much bloat in the D.C. area with things like uh, all kinds of uh, contracting and lobbying with the government. Pays hundreds of billions of dollars for, to inflict cruelty for the police, for ICE immigration services, to deport people, to commit atrocities around the world by bombing poor people around the world and enrich a few people here, pr uh, rich prison corporations. So much waste and lobbying happens around here. And uh, you're paying basically just for the location. So that I don't want to be a part of that. I want to withdraw my support. I want to be an example of opposing that. I want to not be that selfish person who's just going to be here like, well, I know it's a waste, but I'll do it anyways, right? Just because I like it. Just because it's fun. You can go have fun and like lots of other cities. There are lots of great places to be that are not D.C. Because D.C. is a cool place, too. And more specifically, I was in Arlington, Virginia. I grew up in Arlington. I've moved around different places within Northern Virginia, but it's all kind of like considered DC, basically. It's like a suburb of DC. Millions of people commute to DC every day. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to support this anymore. It's, it's, um, it made me mad. It still makes me mad. And I want people to be angry about it because there's so many people who are struggling around here and who, are working two jobs. A lot of them are immigrants. We have hundreds of thousands 
of um, undocumented immigrants alone, and they have they deserve equal rights with everybody. Screw you if you oppose that. And on top of that, we have lots of other immigrants who are struggling here anyways, and we have lots of poor people, lots of homeless people. So why contribute to that? Why did I need to contribute to that? I didn't. And I can't stay with my mom and dad because uh, they got my brother who's a violent criminal there and a white supremacist. And he insists on living with them. So why should you move into your car? Well, first of all, I'll show my car behind me. You don't need a ton of space. This is my Honda Civic. All right, whatever. You're not going to get a great view of it. All you need, basically, in my experience, for the winter, is a sleeping bag. So I got this nice big sleeping bag here. I don't know if you can see it that well. Yeah, you can sort of see it. It's uh, called Wiggly's. I got it from a military surplus store. I'll get the sun in my face. That uh, doesn't really help. You need to uh, buy food, like groceries, that'll keep in your car. So winter, that's ideal. Summer, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I doubt I'll be living in a home by then. That's a big question. But winter's great because my trunk is basically a refrigerator. So I can put yogurt in there, um, uh, salad, like bags of like uh, spinach that I just eat by the handful, bread, loaves of bread, hummus, um, all healthy stuff got to eat healthy. You've got to take care of your health while you're in your car. You do not want to be feeling bad and be all constipated out on the road everywhere. you got to buy groceries because you're going to spend a ton of money eating out. I don't care how cheap you try and make it. You're going to spend a ton of money. The other thing, always have water in your car. I always have uh, sun visors like to block out all the windows except the back one, which fogs up anyways most of the time so that I have privacy when I'm sleeping and it makes it easy to urinate into bottles when I'm in my car. And a good urination technique... Never mind, I won't go into all that detail. But okay, should you move into your car? Well, if you have a high rent, you're thinking about it, especially in a cold climate, it's actually probably easier in a way than a hot climate because last summer we had a heat wave here. Even at night, it was like 88 degrees out. It was like... it. It was like a furnace. It was so damn... It's like you're standing next to like a source of heat, like a bus exhaust or something. It was always miserable at like 2, 3 in the morning. It was so hot. And so I can imagine trying to sleep in that would be really tough. And having the windows open, bugs would be getting in. So winter, it's actually okay because with this sleeping bag, it's a Sub-Zero sleeping bag. I sleep so comfortably. I sleep better than I ever did in a bed because I can actually sleep uninterrupted like eight hours or so. When I was sleeping in a bed in, uh, in my home, I, I would always wake up like four or five hours after I fell asleep and usually have to go to the bathroom too. Now that's another pain in the ass thing, but uh, you know, drink lots of water. Got it. It's annoying when you get up and it's like, oh, I don't want to get up. You know, I want to be sleeping. I don't want to go to the bathroom. Or, I mean, urinate in a bottle. Uh, although, I guess some of you may have to just get up and go to the bathroom. Going in a bottle may be a little difficult. Unless you get maybe like a, a funnel for the coolant tank. You could use that. But if you are thinking of moving in your car, it's actually a really good idea. Provided, first of all, maybe just test it out. Try it first. Because... Um, you know, you want to make sure, like, you're not just going to hate it, personally. I hated it the first three days after that. I thought it was great. Now, it's always a bitter struggle. I feel a lot of despair at times and um, loneliness uh, because I'm broke and I can't really go out and do much. And I'm trying to rectify that here, there. It's difficult, you know, but um, you always got to keep moving forward, keep trying. But it's a good idea if, you know, just think ahead a little bit, prepare it. So get a gym membership. Uh, I go to Planet Fitness. They're great except for all the old naked men who walk around, which is not too many. And the atrocious pop music they always play. Can they play anything else? They could literally play World War II documentaries on the TVs and on the audio. It would be better than uh, playing uh, the trash pop electronic music. By the way, all you electronic music pop makers, you realize as soon as you make your songs, they sound dated. There's nothing that sounds like, you know, it's going to last from that. Uh, and it's a lot... That music, it sounds like the singers, it's like... The message is, I don't like people. 
Like, I hate you. I'm going to enjoy watching you get hurt. Like, I enjoy watching you suffer. That's the message I take away from it. Anyways. Got this nice view out here. I appreciate <coughs> that. Oh, it doesn't look good on the phone. Anyways. So, if you're struggling to pay rent, or you want to save it, or you just screw your landlord. Hey, screw them over. Everybody, this should be a mass movement of people fighting for their rights to sleep in their cars. Also, you got to have good places where you can sleep. Generally, it's like... 24, in my experience, 24-hour businesses, I've never had a problem there um, parking. Even places that don't, I don't think necessarily have a 24-hour business, the parking lot, as long as you park there like one night, generally you're not going to be bothered. In my experience, where I am, you go around different places, hotel parking lots, shopping centers, and watch to see late at night, like if there are other cars there. If there are other cars there, your car won't stand out. If your car is the only one that's there, you're more likely to get hassled and told, you know, you got to move somewhere else. So, uh, 24 hour businesses, like generally, like could be gyms, hotels, although again, you know, could be security going around. 24 hour convenience stores like a Target or Walmart or um, maybe Harris Teeter. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't uh, slept at one. Although, um, again, like, keep changing places. So I don't stay at the same place every day. I switch around throughout the week. And uh, I've parked on the street, although I try not to do that. Um, but generally, most people aren't worried about somebody uh, sleeping in their car. You know, people got stuff to do. But if you're tired of paying your landlord, if you're tired of roommates... If you want to save money on rent, you don't save a ton of money necessarily. You got to be good with your money. Um, I'm struggling, but at least I'm getting stuff done and like saving up a little bit that I need to. Um, and I'm not paying a landlord. Ugh, I'm paying for rent. Hate landlords. Even a good landlord is not a good landlord because you're only paying them because the whole region doesn't have affordable housing. If you could afford your own home, you wouldn't have to pay someone else for their home just for being able to stay there. Or an apartment building that can evict you practically without notice, can sue you for eviction, can get you out very easily. A lot of them are big corporations that are experts at it, and they can raise your rent. They can over double your rent. And if you can't pay it, too bad. It doesn't matter. What this, nothing you can do about it other than move out. Uh, maybe you can afford a ten form a tenants union, you know, do boycott strike. That's what I'm doing. I'm boycotting landlords. So, in general, just if you can have a plan for being um, in your car and homeless, be prepared. You know, have a gym membership so you can so you can shower. Planet Fitness is good because they're 24 hours. I heard LA Fitness is cheap and they have lots of locations, and uh, they um, are open like five in the morning to like 11 at night. So that sounds like a decent option too. But in winter, I have a sleeping bag. I keep my clothes, a bag, a sack of my clothes in my back seat so I can reach them easily, put them in my gym bag, then go to the gym and change in the shower. Dirty clothes in the trunk. And uh, always keep like moist wipes, tissues. Um, looking at my car, not much else. Your car fogs up when you sleep in it. And so if you don't want to wait around for the defrost, you know, to warm up every, and dry down the windows. When, when you wake up, you're, you know, you got to go to the bathroom. You want to get to the shower already. So I just keep, like, uh, those blue paper towels for cars. They're a little bit, little bit tougher than um, regular paper towels. And I just keep one in the back seat, and I just wipe down the window, wring it out. And I just set it on the back, like, sort of like counter or whatever, like right here. You can, I, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, yeah, you can, uh, where, where's my finger? <laughs> right there? Yeah, so it just dries off there. And uh, that way I'm not waiting around for my car to heat up and, and burn in gas and oil. And now it's leaking antifreeze too. So burning up the antifreeze, going out the exhaust. But uh, it's a good plan, basically. If you can find places to sleep... If, you know, you trust in your ability to, excuse me, to, you know, be dedicated to going to the gym every day, showering, um, 
knowing you're not going to be able to cook food necessarily. I mean, you can. Why do I want to put that effort into it? Like finding a place where I can use a little propane, you know, cooker. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, once in a while, I still eat out. Not even once in a while, like a few times a week. But I'll eat out at my job where I get half price meals. And um, I try and eat like really cheap, like McDonald's, uh, dollar menu food. But uh, it's a, basically, it's a simple thing to pull off. Um, really, the issue is, you know, are you dedicated enough to it? Are you going to get tired of it? It can be a little messy, you know, uh, awkward, especially when it's raining. That gets kind of uncomfortable. Everything gets wet. I'm wondering why this car is stopped in front of me in the parking lot here. But anyways, uh, buy groceries. Um, again, have a sleeping bag for cold weather. Hot weather, man, I don't even know how you'd manage that because you're gonna be spending more on food. You can't, st or you're gonna be visiting the grocery store more often. You can't store food uh, in your trunk um, without, you know, like uh, you can only store basically non-perishables. Um, you have to uh, go to the laundromat which uh, I found a cheap one. So, you know, just, that's the thing, just have it planned out. Know the cheap laundry mats you can go to. Don't do what I did. I just went to the closest one at first and it was a horrible cramped parking lot. It was super expensive. And if you have a sense of, you know, of um, justice about people needing affordable housing, withdraw your support from landlords and from, uh, from you know, system that enriches a few and exploits many. Because around here, that, you're paying for the location of being around really rich and powerful people. And I want landlords and uh, rich contractors to be upset and frustrated that people like me will not support them anymore. So I want lots of people to do this. So anyways, um, think about moving into your car, have a plan. Okay, finally, that car drove away. What was it? That always makes me paranoid when people stop, might be looking. It's a nice view out here. Anyways, uh, moist wipes again, that's a big one. Have bottles, Ugh, it's a pain getting bottled water in Walmart. They don't have the big bottles I want. They had these huge like 36 pack crates of bottled water. I'm like, I can't carry that because I don't get a shopping cart at Walmart. Screw that. All right, uh, that's my thoughts on the subject. If you're thinking about moving in your car, it may be a good idea. Uh, I want more people to do it. It's worth doing. It's not a bad idea. At least my car is paid off, so I'm living in something that I own now. And I'm not paying a landlord. I'm not contributing directly to more expensive rents around here and high housing prices. And we need more people doing that, however they can. Move out if you have to. Make some housing co-op. Uh, we need other solutions to affordable housing around here. And we need to starve the industries that are getting hundreds of billions of dollars to commit atrocities by incarcerating poor black and brown people, deporting immigrants, mainly brown skin immigrants, and bombing poor Arabs around the world and poor Africans around the world. Anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. Think about moving into your car.